Hi, this is Jeff Donetadog, The Rap Senior TV Writer. And I'm Tony Maglio, a TV reporter at The Rap. We're here because basically we're going to give you what we believe are the sleeper hits of the fall. So for sleeper hits, what we're going to give you is these are not the main shows that everybody's talking about, not the promos you're seeing endlessly. These are shows two and three that hopefully are going to be breakout hits for these networks. Yes, absolutely. And I, I think we'd probably start with the CW. Yeah, why um, they, not? Only, they only have really two shows. <laughs> but um, Flash is definitely everyone's favorite. Jane the Virgin is getting some good chatter, but I actually think it's going to do really well for the show. It's, the, it's their first sort of telenovela-style um, show for the network, and I think that it'll take a little bit of time to get used to the format, but I think it's going to do really well. Uh, next up for Fox, Gotham is getting all of the heat. Why not? It's a Batman prequel. Everybody loves that stuff. But the show to actually watch is Red Band Society. The pilot is much better than Gotham, which is not to say that Gotham's pilot was bad. It's just Red Band's pilot was really, really good. <laughs> it's got a cool cast. It's got Octavia Spencer, Dave Annabelle, a uh, bunch of really talented kids. Uh, it's definitely going to be a breakout hit. Really well written. Watch Fox. What do you got for ABC? For ABC, I think How to Get Away with Murder is getting most of the talk. Of course, it's going to be on Shonda Rhimes Thursday, along with two other of her big dramas. But I kind of think that a comedy called Cristela, which is going to be about a, a Latino family, is actually going to grab some viewership this season. Uh, it's a multicam, which again is kind of different for for us. It's, it's got the live audience feel. It's got all those kind of things that um, were bigger probably in past years. But I actually do think the audience is actually going to come out for Cristela. And for CBS, uh, my pick for a sleeper would be Madam Secretary. It's Taya Leone. She plays the Secretary of State. It's a little bit of a goofy premise, but it is politics. It could go well with CBS's audience, which tends to skew older. Uh, it's a serious show, I guess, mm -hmm. but uh, Taya Leone, also known for some comedy chops, so you never know there. Um, but it seems like a CBS hit written all over it. Well, so I know it hasn't actually been at the top of critics' list, but I actually think Deborah Messing's new show, Mysteries of Laura, is a pretty good show. I think mean, she's good in the role. She's a cop with an attitude, and, and she's a mother. It's, it's got a lot of, of, of factors going for it. It reminds me of, like, old-school murder she wrote, so uh, I like that, <laughs> that appeal to it. And I actually think it's going to do really well with embassy audiences who, of course, remember her from Will and & Grace and Smash, um, God knows that uh, NBC tried to make Smash work, but uh, I think the Acting Mysteries of Laura might actually do the thing for them. All right, so those are our picks for the sleeper hits of the fall. For more of the Rap's Fall TV preview, visit therap.com. I'm Jethro Netadog at the Real Jethro on Twitter. I'm Tony Maglio at Anthony Maglio on Twitter, and we'll see you next time.